Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 useless parts of the human body. With one thing or another, there are a surprisingly large number of body parts that we humans no longer need. Nowadays, they're just along for the ride. Join us as we count down 10 of the most surprising. Number 10, your tonsils. These little fellows are supposed to be protecting our body from pathogens, but nowadays, they just tend to get in the way. In fact, they're often the problem. You will certainly know someone whose tonsils have gotten infected if you haven't had yours out yourself. A lot of people just decide to get them removed before they start causing any problems. They're that useless. Number nine, female vas deferens and male uterus. Here are two body parts that not everyone has, which immediately should signal just how useless they can be. Since fetuses start off genderless, occasionally some quirks can arise as the baby is cooking. Some girls can find themselves with a cluster of useless tubules near their ovaries, which form when the body momentarily gets confused and thinks it's developing into a boy. Similarly, boys can be born with an undeveloped remnant of a uterus, which tends to hang about off the prostate gland. In both cases, your body has dealt you something 100% pointless. Number eight, your goosebumps. Ever wondered what these things are all about? The explanation tracks back millennia ago to when we were much hairier than we are now. In the day, goosebumps sprang into action in two scenarios. Firstly, when we were scared, which puffed up our hair and made us appear scarier to whatever had put the heebies into us. And secondly, when we were cold. That way, the extended fur would keep us warm. Now that we've got clothes and houses, the goosebump is an archaic concept. Number seven, your ear. Not the whole thing, of course, but there's a cluster of muscles that really should have gone the way of the dodo long ago. They're designed to swivel our ears about like antenna, should we need to pay extra attention to our surroundings. Or at least that's what they did when we were monkeys. Today, they're useless in most people. The occasional person can use these muscles to wiggle their ears about at parties. But beyond the fleeting social capital such trick gives you, these ear muscles are 100% useless. Number six, male nipples. Why do men have them? To be honest, we don't know. We do know, however, that there ain't no good reason to have them. In all likelihood, the male nipple isn't a residual evolutionary element. It's probably a hangover from the body's time in the womb, and they form before the fetus has decided whether it's going to become a girl or a boy. Number five, your sinuses. Pockets of air sitting in the middle of your face? Who needs that? Turns out, no one. Like the male nipple, no one can really agree on what the sinuses were there for in the first place. Some people, probably drama teachers, think they're there to enhance the quality of our voices. Another theory suggests that they help humidify the air we breathe. Our theory? They're there to annoy us with sinus headaches and infuriating infections. It's working. Number four, your coccyx. When we're in the womb, there is a short period where we actually have a tail, but it is quickly absorbed and we think no more of it. The coccyx is that final bone in our vertebra, the tailbone, and it's the only sign that our bodies had that momentary freak out where it thought we should have a tail. Well, it's the only sign for most of us. Just ask one of the exceptionally few people who genuinely are born with a tail. Number three, your wisdom teeth. Between the ages of 17 and 25, most adults will develop four wisdom teeth, and most adults will curse the sky and yell, why? Wisdom teeth can be extremely painful. They're basically there to take up mouth real estate that isn't on the market. And for a lot of people, that means having some extremely unpleasant dental surgery, followed by a bout of unwanted bed rest. Why do these pearly white invaders insist on coming to visit? They're vestigial third molars that we used to need back when we were eating bark straight from the tree. 
Number two, your appendix. Once upon a time, this guy was supposed to help us digest cellulose-rich plants, but that day has long gone. Probably the most famous vestigial organ, the appendix is now utterly useless, except when it comes to getting infected, which it's very, very good at. Number one, your third island. Your what? Yes, it may be hard to believe, but you have something called a plica similunaris, and it's thought to be the vestigial remnant of a third island. We've got to think that that makes this the perfect choice for the number one position on this countdown. The plica semilunaris is the tiny fold of tissue that you'll find in the inside corner of your eye. You know those weird little membranes that go over the eyes of birds, reptiles, and amphibians? That's basically what the plica semilunaris used to be, we think. It would have helped moisten the eye, get rid of foreign debris, and make us look 75% more badass. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe.